Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Advance Wars 2 Black Hole Rising with Battleon. As you can see on the screen there, I'm doing some edits in this, so just be ready. Oh my gosh, Commander Olaf, look at that! It's, it's... It's Batman! <laughs> I wish. What? What? What in Winter's name is that? Looks like a missile silo. A really big missile silo. I doubt we can just walk up and push that thing over. Freaking monster, man. Hit it with everything we got! No black hole base is a match for our might. Do you see the size of that thing? I'm worried about you, Chief. Well, what should we do? Well, son, you and I are on intel duty. We gotta find a way to beat that thing. Beat it. Beat it. T minus 15. More like T minus 5,000. Because that's approximately how many minutes it takes to finish this mission. Mission. Now that Olaf's here, days are numbered. I'm here to help. Huh. Andy of Orenstar, what are you doing here? <laughs> I just can never pick a voice for Olaf. I told you I'm here to help. Blue Moon needs no aid. We have the power to... The power to what? Get hit by that giant missile silo? Fifteen days? Go ask the grace. That missile silo will take out half of your troops in a day. Madness. At least that's what Nell said. And Nell knows everything, so listen to everything I say. That's... That's... Just stop that missile! I'll help you! Let's stop that missile together! If you're going to insist, you can help. Alright. Olaf is an ordinary old man. See those little notes right there? Move all your troops to the left. Let's move as far as you can. Throw the max into the APCs and... Ready for some editing magic? Whoa! Look at that. Magic. Um, this fight takes a very long time. It's the fastest I, I've ever seen it done, realistically, was like 17 minutes. Um, that also didn't include any of the movements of, or sorry, any of the, the talking or explanation of what's going on. It was literally just movement, 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 movement. So, the goal here right now is that ape, uh, the mech on the bottom there needs to steal the airport down there. And you're trying to get to the pipes and break the pipes. And then you're trying to take out the black hole units so you can steal those ape properties. Um, you're going to be using Andy mainly to take out the top pipe. And um, leave your space open for that uh, APC that you can see on the screen right now. Um, the main job there is to just clear a path and to actually get rid of the rocket and or missiles on the top left there. They're mainly a distraction, to be honest. They don't do a whole lot. Um, that fighter can do a whole lot, depending on how you play this out. Um, the reason that this takes so long is there's just so many freaking units on the field. Olaf, you hear me? We found a way to put the kibosh on that giant missile base. What was that? Are you sure? There are eight properties surrounding the launch tower. They're supplying the power for the base to launch the missile. If you can capture those eight properties, the tower should be helpless. It's up to you, Frosty. I'll take care of this. Easier said than done. The cursed pipe is preventing my units from advancing. Hey, oh, bud. Blast it. Blast it open. That's what Nell said. Oh, right. You can totally do that thing with the missiles and the bombs. You blow it up. Yeah, it's a thing you can do, Olaf. It's a thing you can do. Um, so prepare for the, uh, the battle copters that are coming this way. Start taking that over. Um, you want to protect the mech, because you want that, because it'll make you money, and later on you can buy battle copters and or a bomber, if you want. Um, really, you want to do that, because your technique is better when you buy more units. And your technique and other stuff can fall pretty easily here because if you lose too many units or you take too long or whatever you're kind of boned. Um, also you have to hit these pipes if you want to get this done in time. You need to hit those now. Don't forget to do that. If you do you're in trouble. And I mean serious trouble. Not like oh I have until the 30th to get my taxes done and it's the 28th and they're done. It's more like I have until the 28th to get my taxes done and it's the next month on the 30th. Super bad. Don't do it. Um, also, be careful where you're moving your units right now because of those missiles and rockets. 
you have to make sure that you get them into the right positions and that they don't get blown to smithereens. Because you don't want that. Um, start blowing up that. I think we can open that up next turn now, yep. I totally get that open on the next turn. Um, you want that, that right there, the artillery, to move probably to the corner where the fighter is. Um, it gives it the ability to hit the spots where your units are going to be getting blocked in the future. Um, it really depends on how you want to approach this, though. You can either go split top bottom, or you can try and um, go ranged and just surround the pipes there and shoot them out. I don't like that way because it takes longer and it's much harder to get the S rank that way. Um, I personally think the best way to do it is the way I'm doing it. I mean, I tried this like four times to try and cut down time. It's very hard to cut down time on this while actually allowing myself room to give explanations. Um, so that bomber right there is going to take out the pipe by itself and you're going to follow it up with these. However, on the next turn, I believe, you should be able to get your ultimate with Olaf. Um, I think. It might be off by a turn. I think actually off by a turn. It's right after you blow that up, you get the ability to do that. Um, if I remember that correctly. So basically, you're trying to just set everything up so you can get Olaf's um, super duper ability off in about a turn or so. Um, by doing that, it'll weaken all the opponent's units by two. And make everything snowy so they can't go anywhere. Um, I hate making puns about this, but you literally just freeze the opponent's units. Um, you try to get them locked in place because there's very little room for them to get through. And you poke them with your ranged stuff, and then you just beat them down with bigger units and better numbers. Um, the strategy is pretty simple, because there's only one path above and underneath the silo. Uh, you just kind of bottleneck and you can force them to put one or two units into the fire of three or four units so you just gain the... the, um, the you win the numbers game because of how you spread your units out. Alright, so we can actually um, set off the weaker one now, but that'd be a bad idea. Uh, we need to get through there. Man. Yeah, I think I may have made a tactical error there. Um, oh, and that rocket's still there. Shoot. Alright, well, I made a tactical error. That rocket, uh, that, the fighter shouldn't have been where it was. I needed to get the artillery into that spot. But, <clears throat> that's not a hard one to, to deal with. We can play around that mistake. That's not a big deal. Um, although it may appear to be. Let's see. We want to capture that. He's not gonna be able to move anywhere really, anyway. But I guess moving him closer. Yeah, I'll just go with that. All right. And now you kind of just want to throw all your units in there. Uh, just get stuff set up for the next turn. The next turn is where the really big damage happens. Um, you also want to get rid of as many of these as fast as possible. Um, safety is good, but the honest truth is there's really no good way to be safe down there. You're going to lose something. It's just going to happen. You can't get around it. It's just inescapable. And at least from what I've seen, you can't get away from it. Okay. Day three. Um, let's see. Alright, you want to get him out of the way. You want to get him down to the bottom ideally. But by doing that, you also open up a path for stuff in the future to come through the bottom. Um, if you want to get a good power rating, you need to kill units. It's just the way the game works. Um, so that's important. Let's see. You don't want to leave any of these in the range of getting shot, because they'll just die. Oh, look at that trick. Super supply. Bam! And I don't think there's anything else to do right now. Okay. Oh, what a monster. Let him go. This disgusting, horrible person he is. What a villain. Oh, look at that. Super ultimate. Oh, man. Let's see. Do I want to use it now? I probably should. 
Olaf, feeling super duper. Winter Fury! I think that could be something you would say in Street Fighter. Winter Fury! You'd be like Tiger Uppercut, only for him. Um, you also increase your movement a little bit. You're good in the snow now. So yeah, snow movement good when you've got Olaf. Alright, get out of here. Just go for it. Run away! You're trying to make him get down there so that you can drop units off on the left side. It's only one unit you're going to get with him, but it's kind of important, actually. That one unit really does mean something. Um, take that out. Oh, are you kidding me? That sucks. Um, right, we're going to have to do some unit finagling. Oh, crap. Get there, maybe? I really don't want to have to use the medium tank there, because I want to take out the smaller tanks next to it. Um, uh, this is actually kind of complicated now. So the, the problem with this is there's just so many units in such a small space that you have to micromanage really, really well in order to get through all this just fine. Alright, numbers game, win it go for it. Damage. Damage everywhere. Yeah, we also have to accept you're going to lose a couple units up there. Um, it's actually not the end of the world. You'll be okay. Um, in hindsight, maybe I should have dropped the AP, the, the mech out of there. Could have made me one turn faster with capturing. But, you know, I'm feeling okay right now. Alright, take that out. Let's get rid of the other eight if I can. Yeah. Oh, what? Really? Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, no. I'm just gonna wait. We've got our airport. Make a battle copter. Exactly 9,000 right there. Which is perfect. Oh, God. All the micromanaging. All of it, all at once. In this one map. God, this is crazy. Huh. I just love his music so much. He has such great music. Yeah, see, by doing it the way I did it, you're kind of you lose a turn for Andy. Because you don't have the ability to move your units in without a full missile right there. Um, but, you know, you take what you can get. You get through. Um, alright. Um, oh god, this turn's gonna be a pain. Do I go for it? Uh, no. Because if we move him there, we can just take out everything in the bottom left now. And that'll be perfectly fine. Alright. Let's... That. And then the numbers game over there. And then we're going to subject ourselves to getting hit by one of those medium tanks. But, um, by doing it that way, we're actually going to end up okay. We'll have enough units where we'll be able to get out safe. Hmm. Oh, that sucks. Wait, what can that, uh,. What can he hit? If I go there, he'll be able to hit the 8. What can he hit? Oh, shoot, perfect. There we go, right there. Nailed. And then... Do all that. Move him over there, because we don't want to get hit by the missiles. I mean, the rockets yet. No, move him to just outside that range, too. Can join that. There, once we get him over there. And join those two together. Oh yeah, I've got that over there still. Um oh, man. This is so compact. Yeah, so sorry if this is taking such a long time. There's just a whole lot of micromanaging. You have to be very careful with who you're moving and where. Um, 
see, we'll take out that Battlecopter, I guess? Seems good, it's got the highest power of all at this point. And we'll just... Move him over there, I guess? Make something move back over there to get him? Um... Slowly plug away at that spot. Next day. Alright. Now here's the... Here's where we start dealing damage for real. Um, <clears throat> you can take out the artillery for the most part, and you can take out the missiles for the most part, so you can actually start using your uh, battlecopters, which is kind of nice, because you need something on the left side there other than just what you pull over from the right to uh, really get anything in there. Um, let's see, they don't have any really strong anti-air over there, so that should be good. That over there. Well, actually, we can supply if we move there. Supply. Cool. Day five. Getting there. Man, he just keeps making more units. It's kind of frustrating. All right, let's let's go to work. We want to do that an hour later. Well, for starters, we can pop that guy. Rocket can't even hit anything anymore, so we'll move him up. He should be able to hit. So he should just be able to reach some of the stuff in there now if they start moving in. Um, that's the best way to do this. I should just be able to hit that, but I can't because that's in the way. But then. Pop it with one. Perfect. And now I can start capturing. Awesome. So we finally started getting our goal done. Um, yeah, that needs to go. I don't want to lose that. Losing units is bad. I wonder what the rocket's going to be able to kill. Let's see, we can get... Oh, nothing, really. Wow, it kind of sucks. Um, oh, that's, alright, we got that. Alright. 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 Alright, so let's just move some guys in there. Um, mech needs a little bit of help getting out of there. Let's just kill that off. Um, Battlecopter can't attack him. Completely forgot about that. It doesn't really make any sense to me if the Battlecopter can't go after that, although I guess they would fly much lower than a, a bomber would. I guess I would expect them to. I don't even know. What am I talking about? God only knows. Oh. Yeah, it's a mech in there, so it's not going to be able to reach. Yeah. Yeah. We need to start taking some stuff over there. Fire! Alright, I can start moving out finally. Then that fighter can get down there and chase off the freaking... Uh, bomber. That bomber down there can deal some serious damage later. If you don't kill those, you're in a lot of trouble. Because if you open up the pipe, try and get the mech up there, and the bomber is still in there, I'm just gonna fly out and kill everything you have. So you really just have to prioritize what units get killed. That's really the name of the game right now. Prioritize. Alright, cool. Open up that spot. And now we want to just take out the rocket as fast as we can. Um, 49, sure. Seems good. We'll make sure we get that out of the way. Cool. And I think that's all we can do with Andy this turn. Aside from supply the guys have already got. Yeah, that's really all we can do. All right, him. No, let's go to that. Goodbye. Nice. Um, that's everything moved. Awesome end. Day six. Man, he always says he's gonna smash us up good, but I don't really feel like he does. He just kind of meanders around. Hmm, day seven so soon. Fifteen days pass, we lose. Must hurry and capture those properties. We're getting there. 
We're, we're getting moving on it, buddy. Haven't you seen that? Look at that. Two captured. Look at that. Freaking monsters. Just taking it down. Alright, I think... No. That's not gonna be good. We'll just join those. And then... Will that be able to take it out? Yeah! Look at that. Cool. Um... Seems legit. If we punch it enough, we'll be able to get there. Punch. You know, I could super now and then attack into it afterwards and get less damage dealt back to me. I think that's the right way to do this. Yeah, perfect. There we go, dead. And we can start. All oh, right, Neo tanks. Those are a problem too. Move him out of there. That's not gonna be able to move in. Um, should set that up so I can move that after it captures everything. And now we can move these out of the way, because they're not going to be hitting anything anymore. Now I'll hit the opening, perfect. Alright, getting there. Perfect. Now nothing's going to be able to come from the bottom safely. Uh, drop him off so he can start stealing stuff. By stealing stuff, I mean taking over territories. Um... Not a whole lot of still do this turn. Okay. Andy, you don't really have anything else to do now. You did your job. Just get out of the way. Um, I kind of want to break one of those pipelines. Just so I can take out like one or two more units. Increase the power I'll get for the round. Um, it seems pretty good. Um... Why not go for that, too? I don't even know if this affects the power, but let's break it. I like smashing stuff. Smash it. I'm gonna smash it all over the place. Okay. Day 8. Eight days left. Um, we'll be done before that, for sure. We'll take that. And now we'll... Although... You know, that might not have been the best move. Because I would have been able to move more... Actually, no, this is fine. This is absolutely fine, yeah. We can move him... There. By the time the one on the top captures it, he'll get the one right next to him. The one on the bottom will move over to the left. And the one on the top right can move over to the... That's not going to really make it any faster. Um, wow, counting to two can be very hard. Yeah, we'll do it that way. You know, actually, no, that was a bad idea. I could have done this faster. Oh well. Like, here's the point. Like, you can you can get S rank and not be perfect in this, especially in this map. It'll be okay. Like, there's a little bit of room for error. Not as much as people might want, but there's still room for error. Like, you can still you can still get away with a couple mistakes. Um, so don't don't get all freaked out. Don't get too nervous. Uh, that's really all I can do this turn. Everything else just doesn't really matter. I'm just doing it for the sake of doing it. All right, day eight. Andy, go blow stuff up. Boom! Blowing stuff up! Don't need to do this. I really don't need to do this, but I'm doing it anyway. Wow! <laughs> he can't even do anything now, he's got nothing to do. Alright. Almost at day 9. There we go, day 9. And, let's see, you're going to capture that. You're going to load in there. Drop you off right there. In hindsight, would have been exactly the same as me doing that, see? So I could have captured a, s a turn sooner. I could have captured one of them a, a turn sooner. Wouldn't have mattered, though, because I think it would have still ended on the same day. 
Or else just try and kill stuff. Like, I need to, to kill more things. Must kill! Oh, I can shoot those. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll shoot that. Then... How else can I maximize the number of kills I get? Uh, break that? Seems okay. And then shoot that. Yeah, it's probably not gonna amount to anything. I don't know, yeah. Whatever. Do whatever you think is right. At this point, we're, we're gonna win. There's nothing they can do to stop us at this point. That guy fell for the trap, so the Neo tank there is going to get blasted by both rockets. Um, and our artillery stays alive, which is exactly what I wanted. He can just he can go play. Uh, you can go play too. And you're going to capture that. You're going to capture that. And he will capture right there. I think we've only got one more turn until we win, so... Yeah, we're almost there, guys. Almost there. Alright, let's maximize the damage we can do here. Kill that. Will that reach? Oh, thank god. Perfect. Why not? Kill one more unit. Just do it. Attack me! Ha! <laughs> I don't know why I did that. That was a terrible idea. Oh god, why? Whatever. We're gonna win. Yay! Alright, capture! Capture, capture, actually no, damage first, then capture. Because if we can kill more things first, we'll get a better rank. Yes! More damage, more units, more capture, 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 <laughs> and I think that's it. Blast it! We could have launched this mission, we would have blown it to bits. Yay, we did it! <laughs> oh, that's goofy from Kingdom Hearts. Right, we did it. Of course, I could have done it myself. Man, you got an ego, man. Um, yeah, Olaf, for like one second, admits that he wants Andy to stay and help him out. The guy's got such an ego, but that little kid Andy decided to just save you and blow up some stuff. And Olaf loves blowing things up, so he was just happy. Look at that, perfect, hundreds all across the board, S rank. So, I won, that is, we won, yeah, we won. What else is new? Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope that was helpful, this excruciatingly painfully long video. But next time, we're going to take on another mission. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all later.